Hey, hello, everybody. Hello, hello. This is Kelly Weiler live here with you at Girl Upcycled Studio. Great big announcement today is the very first day of our opening for the fall in the Creators Club. So I wanted to come live and I'm just going to do a little mini painting today. And I thought I would just kind of answer any questions that you may have. Um, and just kind of let you follow along for a little bit. So when you come rolling in, please say hello. Please tell me where you're coming in from so that I can kind of get to know you a little bit better. Hello, hello, everybody. I see you guys coming in. Good to see you all. Um, again, this is the day one of the Creators Club opening date for fall. Um, I only open the doors just a few times a year. So um, beginning right now, you can get in if you are one of the people I've been talking to um, um, in the background about getting in. The doors are officially open. So I welcome all the new people. I can't wait to get started and paint with all of you. And uh, just we just have a lot of fun. So um, if you do have questions, now is your time to say, you know, anything you need to say, ask questions about the group, all that good stuff. Um, we did add a live retreat this year. So that will be something that you will be able to get involved with since you are in the club when you do join in. Hello, Lindsay coming in from Boston. Chris is in Heath, so you're not too far away. Hello, hello. Good to see you all. So what I thought we would work on today is a little mini canvas um, for today. Um, this is just a five by five canvas panel. It's It has kind of a hard background surface to it, but the front of it is completely wrapped in canvas. The back is really kind of cool because it has a place for a title, a place for the artist, the medium, the date, and then a place for the signature for the artist to sign. So I think these are always really fun to do for giveaways. And if this happens to turn out, I may be giving this away because I will be going live again at seven o'clock tonight. We will be having our live sale. So I may be giving this away if it turns out at seven tonight. How's everybody? So I am going to throw a little bit of plastic on, on my um, plate here. I, I think you all can hear me okay, correct? Hi, Christine. Some of the members are tuning in right now. Um, this is the Press and Seal. I, this is just so easy, you guys, for those of you that want a quick cleanup. This is a great way to just kind of do a quick, quick cleanup at the end of your painting. So I'm just going to cover my little tray and I'm going to do just a little miniature painting. I have an idea of what I think I may do, but I would love your opinion. I, I am thinking about doing a little mini cactus painting today. So um, what would you think you would like to see if you don't want to see a cactus? What would be another idea? I'm thinking about doing something in the landscape um, tone so or theme. So if you come up with another idea, we could always change directions. But in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and get started on the background. So it'll be a little bit of a sky background. Um, if you would just take one quick second, those of you that are tuning in and go to the top of the description and give permission for StreamYard to see your, to put post your name because I can only see Facebook user. It says beach and palm trees and all I see is Facebook user, but that's a great little um, idea too. Thank you for sprinkling the love. I do appreciate that. So I'm going to start off with just a little bit of acrylic, blue, and then I've got a little bit of my DIY paint. I sell the DIY paint. However, I use a lot of acrylics too. I use a lot of other products. Um, so it's not just what I sell. Um, 
cactus is cute. Okay, we've got somebody that's saying yes to the cactus. That is Christine. And let me just get this on here. And I want to put this on here pretty, pretty thin, I think, because I want to to let room for this to dry and it seems like you're not able to really see very well let me see if I take the light off of my face it still doesn't work very well does it for the painting let me see if I can blow it up just a little smidgen here there we go so I have a medium blue and I'm just kind of mixing it in with some turquoise. Hello, hello. Go ahead and give permission for um, StreamYard to see your name, whoever that is that just tuned in because I can't see who it is. I'll give you guys a little bit of a up close and personal look here. Have you all painted with the little mini paintings? There are artists that do whole collections using nothing but the mini paintings. I feel as though y'all cannot see very well. Let's see if I move this around. Hey, hey. The DIY paint dries really fast too guys so that is kind of a nice a nice reason that I like to use it and it also reactivates so we we work a lot with it um, inside the group just for that those reasons alone beautiful colors um, I think I'm going to brighten up the top of this sky a little bit and I may use a little drop of white in there as well. What's everybody getting into today? Hello, Maggie. I find the smaller things I offer are selling really good right now. Uh, isn't that awesome? Um, I think they make great gifts this time of year. So um, that could be why. Um, I also think that it's really fun. I don't know if you have ever a little bit of light color in there. Here we go. And I'm just taking my flat brush. This is the turquoise iris. Um, which one is this, guys? Hold on one second. Assistant. <laughs> this is called the assistant. Um, Oh, thank you so much, Maggie. That was so sweet of you. I so appreciate that. Um, this is called the Assistant. This is just a flat brush, and it's really nice for getting a nice kind of a sky kind of a look. So I'm just going to air dry this, and I wish it was not so clouded out on you guys. Let's see if I move this, if it gets any better. Anybody know why it's doing that? Here we go. So I'm just taking that brush, gently going back and forth, and it's giving it a really soft um, kind of a sky. Um, how are you doing the split screen, ask, ask Delissa. Um, I am using a app that's called StreamYard. Let me just go over here and I'm just changing it with my computer. I have my laptop right here in front of me and actually my laptop is giving a more accurate picture of the artwork. So I'm going to kind of pull it up here and let you guys see it. Um, it's a little washed out over here on this end, which is kind of a bummer. So I think I need to work on the placement of my camera and maybe my lighting a little bit and see if that helps. Put my lighting over here. So if you guys have any 
kind of advice for me on the techie stuff. I am all ears because I'm always trying to get better at this. Hello, Melanie. How are you? Hi, Mary. Hi. She says I'm back in. Yay. Mary, did you just join the Creators Club? You're back in? That just warms my heart. Um, you guys, it just, you know, the one thing that I want to say, um, I get asked all the time about the Creators Club is I do not have you sign a contract. You, you don't have to pay for the entire year. Um, I've had people and Mary was one of them and she said she just got back in and that warms my heart because that tells me that she loves it there and she misses it there. And I love that. That's what it's all about. Um, but the reason I do the monthly fee is we don't know what is going to happen from day to day in our lives. Um, emergencies come up and things happen. And I want you to have the ability to leave and step away from it if you have to, because life is hard and I don't want to make it any harder on you. Okay. Um, so that's why I really like the month to month. Um, Delissa, it's just $27 a month, and I come live every single Tuesday at 6 o'clock, and I have new classes every week except for the last week of the month where we do a QA. and a I do have special guests that come in periodically, um, which just, it just changes it up, um, and uh, yeah. I just, I just love having people in, and I think we can kind of learn from everybody, from each other. Lighting is washing out your painting on the table. Thanks, Judy. Is there a, is there a solution for that? Um, if I pull my lighting completely off, it's still, I wonder if it's my overhead way up. I'm in a warehouse here and I have, um, you know, just the not so good. What are the long bulbs, the fluorescent, I have fluorescent lights way up there. And I have a feeling that that could be what's happening. So if you have any, any kind of tips for me, I would love that. Um, let me go ahead. I'm going to drop this banner right here. I'm going to drop this banner. This is the link that takes you to my group. If you want to learn more about it, just go to that link and it explains everything start to finish. If you still have questions, you can ask here or you can inbox me. Okay. All right. Would that be seven? I do believe so, Delissa. It's seven. So seven o'clock. And I know, I believe you are doing seven o'clock lives. So I, I know that could be an issue for you. Um, we are one hour ahead. Wait, right? Yeah. We're one hour ahead of you. Maybe turn off, turn off the light next to table. Well, I tried that and it didn't seem to help very much. Did it. It's still kind of still kind of not very good. So I will figure this out as I work, as I learn. And I am going to try to turn this away just a little bit. I think it does help. Um, will Big Top hold up outside in the rain? Yes, you'll need to put a couple of coats on it. Um, okay. All right. So let me go ahead and get started. Um, still a little bit wet, but I want to go ahead and get started um, because I am doing two lives today. <laughs> it's a busy time, guys. I've got my live sale at seven o'clock. My sis is coming in and she's busy because she works full time and we're just trying to do all the things. Oh, I'm going to do a cactus today. I kind of forgot what I was doing. I was getting ready to paint flowers. I got flowers on the mind. Okay. So let me go ahead and pick out a brush for this. I might just stay with the one I have. And I've got a little bit of DIY paint. This is, I believe, Fancy Farm Girl. And I want to just have some fun with this. if you guys can see. Oh, let me change the, 
when is your next workshop retreat? Oh, with SOAR? You know what? That was in the summer. So I would imagine that they probably, um, they probably are going to continue to do that in the summer. So I hope I get invited back because that was amazing. Okay. Um, did you say what size your canvas is that I'm using? It's a five by five. It's a little five by five. Let me see if I can make this a little bit bigger for you. There we go. It's a little bit better. And I'm kind of just making some crisscross strokes. I've really been working with my own technique to where I'm trying to um, allow some of my brush strokes to remain. And that's hard to do because we're so used to, you know, painting everything so smooth and all the things, right? So like I said, if this turns out, I'll give it away during the seven o'clock hour, which that, that's Eastern time. Are there any questions that you all may have? Because that is why I'm going live. I'm going to try to go live every single day until my um, doors close back up. I'll give you a close up of this. So this kind of shows you all of the brush strokes that I have left. And then um, they have these cute little flowers that are on the tops of these little cactuses. So I'm going to do a couple little flowers. Um, Delissa says, I'm trying to get vacation time arranged so I can go to some workshops and retreats. Yes, I highly recommend them. Seven your time would be six my time. Yes. So I'm, I'm an hour ahead of you. So, um, okay, so if I go live at six o'clock, then it would be five o'clock your time. So maybe it would, the live classes would work out for you. I'd love to have you in there. Um, we have a blast. It's just an awesome community that it's, you know, it's really about all the ladies that are in it. It's really very little about me actually, because they are kind of the stars of the show inside my group. Um, they, they run the group as far as they, they tell me what they want to learn and it's all about them. Okay. That's how I run my group. I always talk to them, ask them, um, anything they're struggling with, what they want to learn and all the things. So that's kind of how I run that. Okay. So let me just tell you what I'm using. I grab my little, um, it's called the favorite. This is just a little, uh, filbert brush. I have all sizes of the filbert brushes. The filbert brushes just have this little half moon rounded shape on the, on the tip of it. Love this brush. Have it in all kinds of sizes. Um, this one happens to be the turquoise iris uh, brand. I'm using a color called Rouge. This is a Master's Touch brand. Master's Touch is really just a student grade, okay? Um, so you can work with different grades. Um, there is, let's see, what's the other one? I love golden. If you're using something like golden, it's a, it's a higher grade. So, um, those are nice for, um, your, your bigger paintings, paintings that you're going to be selling. Um, but you can play around with different, different, um, paints until you get, get to kind of, um, until you get used to the, with the consistency of them. That's what you're going to notice with the different um, brands that are out there. There are student grades. I feel like the student grade brands are a little bit stickier. Um, they don't have as, as nice of a flow to them on the brush. And the more that you get used to art and painting, 
you'll kind of really understand what I'm talking about, really just by diving in and, and using the different um, levels of paints. Um, I use Nova paints. Um, that is something that I um, was introduced to by Betty Franks. Um, she is a beautiful, intuitive, um, expressive artist. She's all over YouTube. Um, but she's the one that um, was telling me about it and she highly recommends it and it has really nice coverage and it goes on very, very, um, it just glides, glides like butter. <laughs> um, do do, I won't get off in time. I will watch replay tonight. Okay. That sounds good. Um, Delissa says I need stroke assistance, petals and leaves in case you didn't see I did not see my piece I tried with Mrs. Pam. I did not see she said she, oh, Pam learned that from me. That's awesome. I would be happy to assist you with that. Flowers are my favorite thing to do. So let's, um, speaking of flowers, let's go ahead and get started. So I am mixing my rouge with a little bit of white. Okay, and we are going to just take the brush and I'm going to lift as I, as I come up. I'm going to dip into a little bit darker. So if you look at the brush strokes there, very little brush strokes that I put in, you can already kind of start to see a variation of petals. And that's really just with two different strokes. Um, basically the same style of strokes, but using, um, a, a lighter, uh, rouge and then the darker rouge. Okay. And that alone, um, by not over blending and allowing those petals to have definition, that's going to help you a lot when you're creating flowers and you're trying to learn how to, um, define the petals. Okay. So. So let's do a little bit more. And we can go in with knives too and create some of this, which is kind of fun. Let's do another one. Let's, come over here. let's do a big one. We need a great big one here, don't we? I think. What flower did you paint, Delissa? Is it Delissa or Delisa? I always feel like I'm probably saying that wrong, which I don't want to do. Now, I usually paint pretty kind of abstract when I'm painting for myself, but when I am showing things in the group, I do slow things down a little bit and um, break it down for you like I'm doing right now. He's just a cute little guy already, isn't he? Um, Let's see. Am I missing any other questions? When is your next work? I got that one. Okay. I got everything. Awesome. Thank you guys so much too for sprinkling the love. That's always nice. I'm going to keep going back over with the lighter color in. Working some of that in. The wispy flower, I just didn't get it, and she is an excellent teacher. Awesome, I need to go check that out and see what y'all are into. Sometimes I'll pop in and I'll say hello to y'all, and sometimes I, I'm just passing by. <laughs> so I apologize for that if I, you know, it's hard to get to all the places and support all these women that are so talented but I do try to pop in and say hello. If I, if I happen to be on their live or on there and there's a live, I do try to do that. Now I'm just going to try something. I don't know if I'm going to like this and I don't. So I tried a little bit of softer pink, a little stroke, did not like that. So I'm just going to wipe that right back off and go back in with my darker. Um, and a lot of it is just the pressure on your brush. 
has a lot to do with it as well. So those are all things that, you know, I teach inside the club and uh, we have a good time with our florals. I feel like the the painting right now needs to be grounded. So if you notice down here, um, there's nothing around it. So it needs to be grounded or it will kind of look like it's just kind of floating in space a little bit. So let's ground it a little bit and see if that helps that look just a little bit. The, these little mini paintings are so fun. They're quick to do, but they're fun. Those of you that are in the business, these are really nice to do as little giveaways and people there, they just pop right in the mail pretty easily and uh, easy to mail out. Okay, so I just took the color uh, red ochre and I mixed a little smidgen of white and it's given, whoops, and it's given me this really beautiful deserty kind of a shade here. So I'm gonna come in here and add a little bit of that. And I'm just going to just kind of run it along the bottom there. And that alone with not, without doing anything else, has grounded that piece. All right, so it looks like you're looking at this little cactus coming up out of the ground and um, grounds it really well. Um, Judith is asking, do you teach with watercolors in the private group? I'm just starting to paint around with painting canvas. Um, I have used water, watercolors. It's not something that I do on a regular basis, um, but it is something that I have done. Um, I will tell you the DIY paint, when we water it down, it moves and it feels very much like watercolor because it's very porous and it's very matte, like watercolor. Um, so, um, a lot of what I do is acrylic painting along with the DIY. Um, every single month, we start the month off with intuitive style painting, which I will not lie, it's going to, you're going to be uncomfortable with it at first if you've never done it, but I really do like to push that because my goal is to get you in there and to get the person that has to follow step-by-step -step painting. And I want to gently nudge you and direct you and nurture you into finding out what your jam is. I call it your own artistic fingerprint. Everybody has one. It's just a matter of putting in the work and the time and figuring out what yours is. So that's what my goal is inside that group is to just, just help guide you along and push you a little bit until you figure that out. So, and it's a beautiful thing when people really start to come into their artistic groove, so to speak, and they find their jam and they, they're just so happy. And we're all in there cheering them on. So it's, it's awesome. Okay, um, don't apologize, says Delissa, I understand. Oh, I know, oh, about popping in. <laughs> so I wanna to try to give you a close up right now so if you look at the brush strokes on that flower, that's a very, very easy done with a filbert brush and just using the color rouge mixed with white. And it's already giving you um, highlights and it's giving you shadows just in a natural kind of a way. All right. So let's go in and maybe see what we can do. Let's put a little texture in um, with our little with our little cactus here. Now this is where I like to start to have fun. <laughs> Once I show people the basic setup, so this is kind of like maybe I would get you started in the class 
and we would get you started. But this is where I push you to put your own spin on it. Me, I like to add a lot of like color and a lot of just interesting things to mine. Sometimes I let stuff drip. So this is kind of where I would push you into maybe putting your own spin onto um, the little piece. So I'm gonna pull up some light olive green, which is a bit brighter. And we're gonna just, we're gonna use our knife now. And let's see what we can do with the knife. Let's maybe, let's tap in a little bit of texture in. See, I like that better already. Just with that little, one little scrape is all I did. I'm using the number 34 knife. I do sell these if you need some good knives. These are Dion's line. Voila, easy, easy. Do you enjoy doing crafts as well as painting? I like doing, I like to paint more than crafts, but I will do crafts if, you know, if, because I sell um, some of the IOD stuff. And so sometimes I will do, because I kind of consider that craft. That's, that's a craft. And so I'll do that to demonstrate. I'll do demos to show people how to use it. But um, I would much rather be painting. It's a sickness, but uh, it's a good sickness, right? <laughs> Judy says, I love DIY paints and I use it on all the furniture. Thank you. Yeah, I do too. I love it as well. Okay, so we have that. Now, what else should we add? Should we add um, maybe a little bit of this? It's called Persian Red, which is kind of a little bit of a corally. Color. Let's add a few little strokes here and there. See how that's giving it all the all the feels. <laughs> little little touches, and then um, how about maybe some deep blue worked in. Um, so, in, so what I'm doing, instead of just using the common shades for um, colors that I would use for shading, I sometimes like to use darker color, like the dark blues, or let's see, I really like boho blue, but I'm not seeing it in front of me. Um, Bohemian blue is a beautiful dark, dark teal. So that's what I'd like to use, but I don't see it. So I'm going to use Hey Sailor, which is more of a navy. I think it'll do, I think it'll give me the same look. I can get it open. Hold on one second. It is very thick, so sometimes the tops of my bottles get clogged up a little bit, and I have to unclog it. Hopefully I don't break my brush and make me cry. It's been too good of a day for tears. So, <laughs> are you going to paint or sell? Well, tonight we have our live sale every Thursday night. And so um, we'll just be, the reason we do that is there's a lot of people that want to shop local um, and shop little businesses. I, I have several items from other small creators that I sell in here. And so it gives them a chance to purchase those items and they can ask questions. I give um, closer um, close up pictures of it too. So yeah. Okay. All right, I'm just gonna take the lid off and we will we'll work on things that way. <laughs> Seems like it's not really cooperating with me right now. Oh, um, just a minute. Can I can I get back with you? I'm I'm doing a live right now. Okay. All right. Sorry about that, guys. Um, 
see. So here's what we have right now. And then I'm going to take my, my dark and I'm going to go right underneath here. <laughs> it was one of the local artists here. The other local artist. All right, so I'm going to put a little bit of, see how that cast a little bit of shadow? So underneath the flower, you would have a little bit of a darker shade, uh, um, just, just from uh, the shadow. So I'm just using that dark right underneath there. And I'm going to do the same thing under this other little, little side, right? Just to kind of cast a little shadow. Very, very light touch. I'm barely even touching it. So. Okay. Um, let me. Can probably go in and do a little more de definition on the flower. So let me just um, let me pull out a darker shade of purple, and let's see how that would look. So it's a lot of fun incorporating, you know, different pops of color. Um, it's kind of a little more contemporary, which I love, but that's just a personal thing. So, and that's kind of my jam. That's kind of what I'm, I like and what my, my art is known for, um, having a little bit out of the ordinary, um, bright touches. Um, so that's what I'm going to do with you when you come into the group, those of you that are getting ready to join, um, we're going to figure out what your jam is, okay? And that's kind of kind of where where you're going to find your find your own, um, as I call it, your own artistic fingerprint. So I'm going in there with a little bit darker. Maybe I'm going to mix it with the rouge too. And just tap in. Just here and there. Give it little taps. He's pretty cute. I mean, very simple, easy, fun, fun little painting. So um, I'm going to ask all of you what you think I should name this little guy. Because, you know, I'm going to have to name it. Um, are you, let's see, Cheryl says she loves it. Thanks, Cheryl. So good to see you on here. Um, and I think it's pretty cute. So um, I'll probably be giving this away tonight. So if you come back during the live at 7 o'clock tonight, that's Eastern time, um, this will be the giveaway that we, we will do. So um, I want to just remind all of you that are watching right now, um, we are, let's see, here we go. Um, we are opening up the Creators Club right now. Today's the first day for that. Here's another little look of that. And uh, if you want to get in, I would get in um, pretty soon because it's only open for a short time. Okay. Oh, Pedro. That's cute. Pedro it is. Pedro with pink petals. I love it. That's what we're going to call this. Pedro. He's He's pretty cute. Um, so I hope you enjoyed it. And like I said, um, I'm available for you. If you have any questions about the group, um, we, you can go on to the link that I have here on the screen and it should answer all of your questions. There are a ton of classes that are already pre-recorded. Um, I've had the group now for maybe two years, close to two years, and there are two years worth of classes in the vault. So you can go in and you can work at your own pace. If you're not, if you don't feel like you're up to speed on something I'm teaching for the week, you can just go into the vault and go to like a beginners, a splatter and chatters, or um, another topic. So um, because we do uh, we do so many different um, topics 
and themes. So for instance, this past summer, we, we were studying uh, Leoma Lovegrove, who is an artist out of Florida, and she uses Technicolor. So um, we were playing around with some Technicolor with some of our artworks. We did some bright fish paintings and bright flamingos and all kinds of things like that. So, um, you know, those are some things that you can expect. And that was a, a request from the members. They wanted to do some studies and they loved her style. And so that's what we did. Um, and our group, I know the Creators Club, we talked about doing a, um, a little trip to see her studio someday. So that's something, these are things that we were talking, that we are talking about and that could happen um, inside our group at some point. So um, Delissa is asking, are you open every month? No, ma'am, I'm not. I open um, about three times a year sometimes four, but three times a year for sure. Um, I usually do it um, quarterly or season seasonally. Um, so last year I, I opened up four times a year because of uh, well, when the lockdowns occurred. I really opened up just to get people creating and I thought that was really important um, that people get in motion and it kept them from depression. And we had a good old time in there. We had a ball. I mean, there was all this chaos happening and we had this great place where we were meeting up with our friends and painting. And, um, it really helped me personally, mentally. So I know that it had to have helped everybody else in there as well. Um, it, it is, it's a lot that we've been going through. Um, and it's something that, you know, we are not used to. And so uh, we needed that human connection. Angela says it's a great group. Thank you, Angela. Thank you so much for saying that. Um, so, yeah, we would love to have you all in and hang out with us. We do have a wonderful, wonderful time in there. So, again, um, if you have questions that I haven't answered, and just come right inside um, my direct message and you can send me a message and all that good stuff. So it's a quarterly membership. Oh no, I'm sorry. I misunderstood. I thought you meant, is it open? Do I open the doors every month? It is a monthly membership. You pay it. It's a subscribed. Uh, it's a subscription. So every month you will get charged. Um, and it's very easy if something happens in your life and you have an emergency, things happen. Um, some of us are, you know, taking care of elderly parents or we have um, loved ones that have gotten sick and we need to be with them or whatever reason, financial problems. So I have had people that have had to leave and as soon as they get back on their feet, they come back in again, which is wonderful. Um, so it's, it's very easy to, if you do have to leave, um, we hate to see you go, but you're not tied in for a year or anything of that nature. So I hope that that explains it. I think I misunderstood. Um, and the other one that is monthly is a different program. No, it's the creators club is a monthly, um, membership group. So I think I just under misunderstood you are a blessing. Thanks, Delissa. I so appreciate that. So are you. I've watched your lives. They're awesome. I love what you're doing. All right, ladies. So uh, it's five o'clock and I have to switch this around like magic and turn this into a little shopping area for our seven o'clock live, which will be a shopping shopping lives. So I hope you guys can come back and join us. Um, like I said, we'll have this little cactus for a little giveaway. So maybe you'll get that. Um, Norma Jean, she says, I love the painting behind you. And I want to learn how to do that. Norma, uh, this is actually one that I taught two weeks ago in the Creators Club. So that class is in there. So let me show. Let me show you a kind of close up of this. Um, this was actually a, a bouquet that was brought in by uh, one of the 
members of the creators club and it was so beautiful that i just thought we had to paint it so um yeah so if you join the group it is in there and i'm always happy to help okay thanks delissa all right everybody i will see you all at seven o'clock eastern time hopefully you guys can come by and um, see some of the locally made goods and um, just we just have a fun eclectic little mix of shopping for you okay and we try to do as much small business um, what a, what a collaborations during our sales as much as we can so we will see you at seven o'clock thanks so much for hanging out i hope to see you all inside the creators club um, you will love it. I just know you will. We'll see you inside there. Thanks everyone. Bye-bye.